Hello my internet friends, John Gibson here with I Need Examples. Today I'm going to explain how to use the Excel function IFNA. The IFNA function returns the value you specify if a formula returns the NA error value. Otherwise, it returns the results of the formula. The IFNA has two required arguments. Value, the argument checked for the NA error value. Value if NA, the value to return if the formula evaluates to an NA error. In this example, we have a food menu, cells D7 through E11. We would like to type in the food item in cell D4 and return the price in cell E4. Using the combination of the if and a and VLOOKUP function, this is an easy check. Check out the link in the description for my VLOOKUP function video. In cell E4, let's enter the following formula. Equals if and a, open parentheses, VLOOKUP, open parentheses, D4, this is our value that we're going to be using to look up, comma, D7, colon, E11, comma, 2, comma, false. Next, we're going to enter in the value if NA. This is simply comma, double quote, not found, double quote, close parentheses. When we hit enter, as you can see, cell D4 shows not found. That is because we do not have a value in D4. So let's put in a value in D4. We'll put in pizza. And when we hit enter, the result is now $10.99. If we put a value in there that does not have a value in the menu, such as donuts, you will see that the result is not found. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Comment below if you'd like to see examples on a specific topic. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.